What are we talking about? Oh, we're talking about acne today. Yeah, your complexion. Yeah, that's a big one. And unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, I haven't had too many issues. I, when I was growing up, I'd get the odd pimple or... Imagine. <laughs> get the odd, odd blemish. Just comes easy to Drew. <laughs> My world would come to an end when I got like one pimple, let me tell you. <laughs> but I, I didn't have to deal with that, so I was fortunate. But many people do. This is a major issue. It's a big thing. Mm -hmm. You know that you've dealt with it on a... On Consistent a, basis, yeah, yeah. Especially growing up. Mm -hmm. So tell us about what that was like for you and what you did about it. Sure. When I was young, it started. I was in grade six when it started. I don't know what age that is, but early, right? And I started getting breakouts and they were just getting worse and worse and worse. It really was really bad in high school. I had acne full on. And at that time, you don't know what else to do. You're going to the, and my mom and my parents were, felt so bad for me, they just wanted to help me in any way you can because it affects your confidence so much. Mm -hmm. so I had really low self-esteem, really low confidence because it's your face, right? Everybody sees Everybody, your face. you can't hide it, right? <laughs> and it was really bad. So, you know, I was in and out of doctor's offices all the time. Try this cream, try this pill, try this, try that. And then we ended up clearing it up with with medication but then that was in high school but then it never really was cured i guess you'd say never got to the root ne of the issue never got to the root of the issue so once i stopped that medication it was for a period of time you could take this medication and then and then you couldn't take it anymore basically so during that time it really cleared up and i had the most beautiful skin and then slowly over time, the acne was creeping back in. Not a, not as bad, like I like not that I'm pro medication, but the medication did do something. But it throughout my college years, it was creeping back in. Like I was still struggling with breakout issues. Mm -hmm. I thought once I was into my adulthood, I'm like, it, it should just go away. But throughout my twenties, again, I was I'm still dealing with these acne breakouts and then more recently I guess I started looking to internal instead of external ways to deal with my acne and now I feel like I have learned I guess the root of the problem or how to deal with it more naturally yeah does that make sense that oh, makes sense. True, doesn't like when I say that. Does that make sense? I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> makes me feel like when someone's doing a presentation, they're like, does that make sense? Makes me feel, I know they're doing it to like get your attention and get you involved, but it makes me feel like I don't, they don't, they think I don't understand what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? A little pat on the head. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> anyways, you were saying? <laughs> well, I paused, then it's your turn to talk. Oh, I <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. I had one pimple <laughs> in high school and three in junior high. <laughs> Get out of the show! <laughs> I suppose I should talk now about my more natural remedies. That'd be a good, mm -hmm. <laughs> that'd be a good time. Mm -hmm. <laughs>